Most of us use our smartphones for just about everything. I, I mean, really, email and pictures and what have you. Well, guess what? Smartphones, or at least smartphone technology, is helping to monitor and protect African elephants. George Whitmire here, uh, he's a professor in the Department of Fish, Wildlife, and Conservation Biology at CSU. And here's, he's here to talk more about this program. And George, you've been working for decades to help protect elephants in the wild and monitor elephants in the wild. And this is another step in that direction, a new kind of way of protecting Protecting them, right? It is. So we're, we're, we've been tracking wildlife for decades now, but we're starting to interface it with modern technology with, with basically your cell phone units in order to allow real-time communication with the animal, or at least with understanding where the animal is and what it's doing. Well, I, I think we have some pictures, too, of the actual device because it essentially is a tracking device that's uh, attached to an elephant in the wild and helps you guys keep tabs on the elephant. Is that the, the hope here? It is. So we're using it for a number of different um, a n number of different objectives, but the general idea is we can see where the elephant is moving real time, um, understand its location, if it's encountering threats, and we're also um, using it to identify if the elephant changes its movement behavior, if it stops moving, which um, can, if, it, if it's for a prolonged period, indicates death. Um, and so that's one of the applications directly with, with the poaching issues. Well, and um, there we see an elephant, obviously, that, that has been killed and poached. And that's, uh, it's a big issue, and people don't realize that it's worse now than ever before. That's correct. In, in about 2009, we started seeing a surge of poaching across Africa, across the continent. Um, it's related to increasing price in, pricing of ivory. Uh, there's, the demand has been um, increasing across the globe, really, but primarily led by Asian markets, Chinese sure. markets in, uh, specifically. Um, and so that price uh, point has gotten to a level where people are willing to take risks and go out and try to kill elephants for their teeth and sell that teeth because it's quite lucrative. Yeah, it's unfortunate. And you're, you, you're here at CSU. Why elephants? I mean, why did you get so heavily involved in researching and studying what these guys do? So it's a long story, but I was very fortunate um, out of my undergraduate to start working in Kenya with a group called Save the Elephants. Um, and I've been working with them uh, ever since and, and, uh, and carried that research here as I started at Colorado State University and, and uh, my position there. So it's been um, a half of my life nearly it's at crazy. this point. And yeah. they're beautiful. They're smart animals. Uh, we're out of time, but is there anything we can do to help? Um, yeah, the awareness is critical. Sure. Um, con conspicuous consumption of wildlife products, especially ivory and uh, of endangered species, is really harmful to these animals. Sure. And um, we're trying to get the word out and, and stop people from doing this kind of thing. An important cause. George, thank you so much for talking with thank us and, and all the work you do out there to protect these, again, beautiful and smart animals. And we'll send it over to you guys, Jen and Brooke. So cool. My cousins, uh, they're, they're teachers and they're over in Africa right now. And it's so awesome to see their, their accounts of seeing the elephants and the hippos and the giraffes. It's just incredibly awesome. Now, outside right now.